In this tutorial we're going to start putting the shelves into the cabinet but we're going to do it using holes that the pins go in to support the cabinets we'll create the pins and the shelves as well. So first of all let's hide the doors using the eye icon next to the, the part name in the parts list so that we can see inside. We're then going to start drawing on this left side. We'll mirror it later on to create the holes on the other side and we'll be using the linear pattern tool to create all of the holes once we've created one to start with. So we're going to go ahead and start a sketch and I'm going to look at it from the right hand side. You can see now I'm looking at it from the right and I can't see this surface because this one's in the way. So if we look at it from the right and change the view you can actually inc include the hidden edges. So shaded with hidden edges show me where these parts are. So I'm now just going to go ahead and draw a hole. Okay, or draw a circle, sorry, it's not a hole just yet. We'll dimension it so that we know what sizes we're working with. If we make that 8 millimeters diameter and then zoom in and we want that to be 75 from the front and 75 from the bottom. So we're using numbers that are nice and easy for us to remember. Um, that's 75 from the bottom. We might come back, come back and change later on depending on how we get on with the pattern. I think it should be absolutely fine. So you see we've got the the hole kind of ready now or the circle ready to make the hole so we can go ahead and complete that tutorial that, that sketch and then move on to the next. Don't worry it hasn't disappeared it's still there if we rotate around you can see the the hole is going to be created on the correct surface as well because the circle is on that work plane so now or the that face um, we're going to extrude and we're going to create that hole and just bearing in mind when we're creating this that the thickness there is 15 so we're only going to make the hole go 10 the arrow is pointing the wrong way so we can flip that as well making sure that remove is selected here and that's what's going to create your your hole as opposed to trying to add a cylinder within okay 10 is correct arrows now in the correct direction double checking that we've got remove and it's merge scope it's with the cabinet we've selected that surface so that's automated in there for us and we can finish that we can see that we've got the hole in a good position so now look at it from the right we're going to start then our linear pattern at first we're just going to pattern one across to this side and then we're going to take both of those up to the top as well so I'll just position it so that we don't need to mess about too much linear pattern first once we've selected linear pattern we're going to go for entity to pattern but you'll notice it's not a part this time so we need to change a part at the top to feature and entities will change the features pattern so our feature is extrude 5 our direction is any line in the correct direction if you remember and our distance is going to be 150 or should we try 250 and it might be a bit more accurate there we go so we've got 250 takes us across nicely towards the back our instance count is two because we just want two in this direction and we can finish that we're then going to do another linear pattern this time our part needs to change the feature again the feature is the linear pattern three and extrude five so we're doing both of those and the direction for this one is going vertically we need say 10 going up and our distance is going to be 75 ish let's just see where that takes us to so let's spread that out a little bit more if we take it up to 90 a bit of trial and error and we might be able to get away with 95 now 90 look better so we'll go for 90 and that can be finished at that point you say then if we rotate this we've got holes going up the side for our pins to fit in to finish the holes on the other side now we're just going to mirror them across so it's going to save us a lot of time using the mirror function we're then going to select the not part it's feature and the features are linear 4 3 and extrude 5 and then the mirror plane is the plane that we created a while back in our tutorial plane 1 and if we rotate that around you should see all of the holes matching up perfectly on the opposite side so we're getting quite complex with our modeling now and the features that we're using we'll start a new tutorial for the pins and the shelf itself good luck